How did we get here? It's 2005 and watching online video sucks for two reasons. First. Second, the video hosting platforms that do exist are awful. But these three guys just had the revolutionary idea of creating the world's biggest and best video sharing platform. Just kidding. They want to make a video dating website. It'll be just like the website Hot or Not, but like video. It's Valentine's Day and Chad just registered the trademark, logo, and domain for YouTube. And they start using the slogan, tune in, hook up. Hey, look, Java just uploaded the first video. And now it's time to launch the site into beta. Bad news, nobody's using the site. I'll upload these videos of airplanes taking off and landing so people think the website is active, said Javid. Any girls on Craigslist want to post a video on my site for $20? Damn, I guess this website's a bust. This sucks, I hate this. Wait, what's that? Oh, it looks like people are uploading random videos they have lying around on old SD cards. Cool. What happens next? The founders make changes to become the first major video sharing platform. YouTube's slogan is now your digital repository. There's a top videos page. You can rate videos on a scale of one to five stars. There's a new thing called subscriptions, and you can embed your videos onto other websites. Good news. People are embedding videos onto this cool new platform called MySpace, and it's now the main source of traffic for YouTube. Congratulations. The site's trafficking around 30,000 viewers a day, and a video just hit 1 million views for the first time ever. Oh, hey, look, these guys are lip syncing to the Backstreet Boys. And now we're starting to see short viral videos everywhere dominating the site. These two guys just created a channel called Smosh. Hopefully it works out. Good news. YouTube just officially launched out of beta and the site's now receiving 3 million views a day. Meanwhile, people are uploading videos of an SNL Lonely Island skit and other copyrighted content. I'm sure copyright holders will be happy about this. You've got mail. Oh shoot, it's the copyright holders and they're not happy about this. Guess what happens next? Hey, look, there's ads on the site now. Congratulations. 25 million videos have been uploaded to the site, and around 20,000 are being uploaded every day. This guy just uploaded a video of himself dancing, and this person just posted a music video about shoes. New achievement. The biggest creator just hit 10,000 subscribers, and the platform is now doing 100 million views a day. Philip DeFranco just uploaded his first video, and this guy took a photo of himself every day for six years. Breaking news. Google just bought YouTube for $1.65 billion and calls YouTube the next step in the evolution of the internet. So YouTube headquarters has moved to San Bruno, California, and the slogan has changed to broadcast yourself. Viral video alert. Hey, we're gonna start posting videos to the platform too, said Bo, Ted, and these brothers that like to vlog. Viral video alert. Savarus snipe. Viral video alert. Chocolate rain. Viral video alert. Oh, look, those Smosh guys just became the first channel to hit 100,000 subscribers. There's this guy named Steve. His job's to make iPhones. And he just released the first one ever. And it comes with YouTube already installed. YouTube thinks phones are pretty sick, so they launched a mobile version of the site. This channel, Nigahiga, just uploaded their first video ever. And it's a tutorial on how to be ninja. Maybe we should start making some money, says YouTube as they start running ads for the first time ever to make some money. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Britney, bitch. And this person's upset because people won't leave her alone. Copyright holders are mad that everyone keeps taking their property. And YouTube is tired of getting sued. Introducing. Content ID, new state-of-the-art technology developed by Google that compares videos uploaded to YouTube against a database of registered content. Breaking news, YouTube wants to partner with you, more specifically through their partner program. The platform is now enlisting a worldwide army of creators to make content in order to get people onto the site, and in return, they're giving them a piece of the ad revenue. Side effect, everyone wants to start making money from the site, and clickbait is everywhere. Charlie the Unicorn is going on an adventure to Candy Mountain. This kid named Fred is dressing up for Halloween, and these guys are having a really good morning. Tired of your videos looking like a a potato. Introducing 480p, coming to a clickbait video near you. Also introducing annotations. Add as many obnoxious text boxes and speech bubbles as you want and annoy your viewers. New achievement. Evolution of Dance just became the first video to hit 100 million views, and Smosh became the first channel to hit 500,000 subscribers. Good news. Now you can put ads before your videos and start making more money. Bad news. Viewers are angry because they don't want to see ads. You know what's better than YouTube on the internet? YouTube in person. Introducing YouTube Live. Wait, just kidding. That was an awful idea, let's never do that again. Hey, this song is kind of catchy, said literally everyone. David just went to the dentist. Usher introduced some kid named Justin to the world, and Fred just became the first channel to hit 1 million subscribers. And now we're starting to see a shift on the platform. Viral videos haven't gone away, but we're starting to see a rise in higher video production, editing, and scheduled uploads. Hey, check out all these new channels that were just created. Oh, and I just uploaded my first video too. A new game called Minecraft was just released, and the first video of the game was just posted. And now you can watch that video on your TV and in 1080p. These these dudes are doing trick shots in their backyard and it's getting millions of views. You can make a channel out of this. Wow, a lot of people are using YouTube now. The site is getting 1 billion views a day and 20 hours of video are being uploaded every minute. And a video was just uploaded that's going to change the course of YouTube forever. 
viral video alert. It's a double rainbow all the way. Hey, look at all these people that just posted their first video. Bad news. Now you can only thumbs up and thumbs down videos. But good news. Now you get to watch ads on your phone and you can see them in 4K. And now the site is streaming 2 billion views a day. Nearly double the primetime audience of all three major US television networks combined. Viral video alert. Y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife. Hey, YouTube's pretty dope. I'm gonna start uploading videos, said some random Swedish guy. Breaking news. Chad Hurley just announced he's stepping down as CEO. And he's being replaced by this guy. Hey, you know those ads before your videos? Well, now you can skip them after five seconds. Sometimes. YouTube just uploaded a rewind of the entire year, and it's okay. YouTube thinks live streaming is pretty dope, so that's something you can do now. Viral video alert. Good news. The site is now getting 3 billion views a day, and 48 hours of footage are being uploaded every minute. Bad news. Netflix and Hulu are rising in popularity. Let's start running out movies and TV shows too, says YouTube, and let's invest $100 million to launch over 100 premium channels. Looks like the premium channels from YouTubers are outperforming the ones from traditional media. So YouTube starts putting more focus on creators. Excuse me, do you know what day it is? It's uh oh. Looks like the top channels are starting to get special treatment from YouTube, like custom thumbnails, more money, and other features. So if you're a smaller channel, how are you supposed to get better treatment? Join an MCN, multi-channel network. All the cool kids are doing it, and you can earn more money this way. Oh, looks like YouTube realized having an even playing field for all creators is pretty important. So they reset everything to make sure all creators have the same features. A NASA engineer just uploaded a video showing off his Halloween costume, and Ray William Johnson just became the first channel to hit 5 million subscribers. Want to obsess over numbers and data? Introducing YouTube YouTube Analytics. Congratulations. 4 billion videos are being watched per day. 60 hours of footage are being uploaded every minute, and the site is getting 800 million unique users per month. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Mr. Beast uploading his first video. But nobody cares, because the video was just posted showing how much of a D-bag Joseph Coney is, and now everybody wants to come together to stop him. Breaking news. The algorithm was just changed, and it no longer prioritizes how many views a video has, but how much time someone spends watching the video. And now viral videos like Charlie Bit My Finger aren't being recommended as much as videos that keep people glued to the site. And because of this, clickbait videos aren't as effective. And now YouTube is using robots to analyze user behavior, more specifically what videos they like and dislike. Because of these changes, we're starting to see a rise in reaction, prank, and gaming channels. The gaming channels are using a sick new format called Let's Play. The prank channels don't give a crap and are doing whatever they can to get clicks and views. And the reaction channels are just reacting. Good news. Average watch time is now what four times what it had been the previous year because of the algorithm change. And now suggestion accounts for 75% of the time people spend on the site. Wow, Red Bull has 8 million people watching some dude jumping from space. Oh yeah, remember the broadcast yourself slogan? Well, that's gone now. Meanwhile, Gangnam Style just became the first video to hit 1 billion views. Ding dong. Oh, it's that guy from Fear Factor. And he's uploading his podcast to YouTube now. Also, guess what? <laughs> Hey, you can't customize your channel layout anymore. Everyone has to use this one now, okay? Congratulations. YouTube now has 1 billion unique users visiting the site every month. Let's check in on Smosh. Oh, wow. They just became the first channel to hit 10 million subscribers. And look who just uploaded their first video. It's Kurzgesagt. Kurzgesagt? 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 Hey, the comment system just merged with Google+, Plus, so now you have to have a Google account to be able to comment, but I don't want it. Too bad. Viral video alert. What's up, Yo, check it out, that Swedish guy just hit 20 million subscribers. Breaking news. Susan is now the CEO of YouTube. Meanwhile, everyone's pouring ice on themselves for ALS. And YouTube just launched this new service called Music Key. And now you can listen to music with no ads. Let's create YouTube, but for kids. Said YouTube as they launched their new service called YouTube Kids. Oh, hey, look, here's some cool new features. Ryan just uploaded a video reviewing toys. Casey started a cool new vlog. Sean started eating spicy wings. James is doing makeup tutorials. And David Dobrik decided to start vlogging too. Hey, that site twitch.tv is getting kind of popular. Introducing YouTube Gaming. Remember Music Key? Well, it's called YouTube Red now. Oh, there goes H3H3 rising in popularity. Let's see how far they can make it without getting sued. Oh, and there's the copyright lawsuit, Jim. Let's check in on Casey. Looks like his vlog is skyrocketing in popularity, and many creators are trying to emulate his style. And good news, Logan Paul decided to hop on the train and start vlogging too. New achievement, the Swedish guy, PewDiePie, just hit 50 million subscribers. Well, looks like Vine just shut down, and so now hundreds of creators are moving over to YouTube, including this guy. Tired of watching television through lame providers? Introducing YouTube TV. It's just like normal TV, but through YouTube. Oh, hey, look. The Wall Street Journal just released an article about PewDiePie. I wonder what it could be. Bad news. Major companies are pulling their ads from YouTube. So YouTube starts putting stricter policies on ads. Side effect. Creators aren't able to monetize their videos and they're pissed. Excuse me, do you know what day it is? It's every day, bro. 
hey look, Bill Ward just uploaded the history of the entire world, which is obviously a massive inspiration for this video, so make sure you go check it out. This girl just uploaded her first video. This guy declared himself the YouTube boxing champion, and these guys are cringing at stuff on the internet. And now, there's a new website design and logo. Good news, H3H3 just won their landmark legal case, helping strengthen fair use across the platform. A new game called Fortnite was just released, and it's taking over the internet. Let's check in on Logan Paul and see what he's up to. Oh no. Breaking news. YouTube just announced that you now have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in order to monetize your videos. YouTube Red is now YouTube Premium, and music streaming is now a separate service called YouTube Music. YouTube Boxing Showdown. KSI versus Logan Paul. Fight! Draw. Wow, all these platforms like Snapchat have stories now. Should we add that feature too? No, please don't. Okay, here you go. Dang, it looks like Mr. Beast is really starting to figure this YouTube thing out. And everyone is starting to copy him. And now creators are starting to obsess over analytics and prioritizing retention over storytelling. Congratulations. Daily watch time is now at 1 billion hours a day. 2 billion people are visiting the site every month and it's generating $14 billion a year in ad revenue. And look, PewDiePie just became the first creator to hit 100 million subscribers. What? Shh. Lily Singh just became the first YouTuber to host a talk show on a major network. And these guys just raised $20 million to plant 20 million trees. KSI versus Logan Paul rematch. Fight. KSI wins. Oh, hey, look, Marcus Brownlee just hit 10 million subscribers. And he's not just filming videos alone on his webcam anymore. Now he has a full team and top notch production equipment and software. We're starting to see a shift where YouTubers are becoming more like production companies with crews and high budgets. Bad news there's a worldwide pandemic and everyone is sad. Good news everyone's staying at home and YouTube numbers are skyrocketing. And people are getting really obsessed with this new show called Tiger King. Speaking of which, I'm trying to pass Joe Exotic and YouTube subscribers. So if you want to see more videos on the creator economy, Economy, make sure you subscribe so we can dethrone the Tiger King himself. I have a dream, and my dream is to become the biggest Minecraft YouTuber, said Dream as he created the Dream SMP. TikTok is now a mainstream platform, and they're a serious competitor. Introducing YouTube Shorts. I'm gonna start selling burgers now, said Mr. Beast as he launches his new business, Mr. Beast Burger. And now we're starting to see a change in what it means to be a creator. It's no longer about just uploading videos to YouTube, but building a brand and starting businesses outside of the platform. Oh wow, these guys just went from zero to one million subscribers in a year, proving it's still possible to make it as a YouTuber. We want to raise $30 million to get 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean, said Mr. Beast and Mark Rober. Hey, Twitch streamers, do you guys want to come stream on YouTube instead? Uh, no, not really. What if we give you a lot of money? Okay, sure. Hey, y'all like seeing the number of dislikes on videos, right? Uh, yes. Well, too bad, it's gone. Mr. Beast just recreated Squid Game, and it becomes the most viewed video in 24 hours. And he gains 1.4 million subs in one day, breaking the record. And now, Mr. Beast is going broke. But not for the reason you think. So go check out this video right here where I explain why, and I'll see you over in that video.